Today we're going to move on to a new chapter in our book. It's chapter 11, and it's all about measurement. The first measurement that we're going to talk about is something called capacity. Capacity is the amount of liquid that a container can hold. The amount of liquid a container can hold. So when we're talking about capacity, we're talking about liquid, liquid volume. That means how much liquid can be held within a space. We're talking about liquid that is taking up space. Another word for this is liquid volume. How much liquid can be held within a certain amount of space? So here you see this water bottle. Now you might say that this water bottle looks like a regular size water bottle that you drink out of, like a Deer Park water bottle or something like that. However, this water bottle is actually bigger than that because this water bottle, it tells us right here that this water bottle holds about one liter of water. And I'll tell you what, the, the kind of water bottle that you're used to has lo a lot less than that. So this is a big water bottle, okay? Um, let's see. We know the word unit from when we were talking about fractions. Do you remember we talked about unit fractions? Unit fractions were fractions where the numerator was one. And we also talked about units when we were doing area and perimeter. And when we used the word unit, it always meant one. So if something was four units long, it meant four one units. But just a unit always means one, okay? So one unit is, the, is one specific amount of measurement. It's just a unit, okay? So um, a metric unit just means a unit of measure that's in the metric system. So there's different systems of measurement. Um, and right now we're going to be talking about the metric system. One metric unit of capacity, right, so liquid volume, how much um, liquid a container can hold, one metric unit is called a liter. Liter, big capital L is how we abbreviate that, okay, capital L. L means liter. Liter is going to be a really big word as we go through this chapter, and we need to remember liter, okay. Um, another... Another thing to know is that there's something called milliliters. We use milliliters when we're talking about um, containers that hold less than a liter because 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. 1,000 milliliters is the same thing as one liter. So let's say we have something that's 400 milliliters. Well, it's going to be less than a liter. Or if you have like something that's one milliliter, that's just like a tiny, maybe like 20 drops, okay? It's not a lot at all. It's a small amount when we're measuring in milliliters. What we're gonna do today is we are going to find three containers and we're gonna estimate whether each container ho holds less than about one liter or more than one liter. We're going to estimate and then we're going to actually measure it to see. So if you want, I would encourage you to go find three containers in your house and you can do this with me. So if you want to do that, pause this video here and go find three containers. You need three containers and water. You also need one four cup measuring cup and I'll show you why right here. Okay, the reason that you would want a four cup measuring cup is because four cups is about one liter. One liter is a little bit more than four cups, but it's about one liter. So here I have a four cup measuring cup. I'm gonna fill it up with water. There it is. Okay, so I have one liter of water. One liter of water right here. So my first container that I wanna measure is this water bottle. Hmm. It seems like it's maybe kind of close, but I'm, mm -hmm. what do you think? My estimate is that it is less than one liter, less than a liter. I think it might be maybe close. It's not way smaller, but I think it is less. I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test that out. Okay, one thing that you can do 
is a lot of containers actually will tell you how much capacity they have. And I just found out by looking, but I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna show you when I pour this water in. I'm gonna get my funnel. If you have a funnel, that's great for pouring so we don't make messes. And I'm going to pour my water into the water bottle. And I'm gonna keep pouring until I get to the top. I don't wanna overflow it. Oh, see right there, we're very full. So I was not able to pour all of the water into the water bottle. So that means that the water bottle must be less than a liter because I have leftover water. One liter did not fit in that water bottle. So now what I can do is I can actually see how many milliliters are left. And right here, sorry, you can't see too good. Right here is 300 milliliters. So if there were 300 milliliters left, then I know 1,000 minus 300 equals 700. That means my water bottle measures 700 milliliters. And I'll tell you what, when I looked on the bottom of my water bottle, that's exactly what it said. It said 700. The next item we have is a Dixie cup. These are like our small little bathroom cups. This one is a no-brainer. Is that one less than, about, or more than a meter? Well, a Dixie cup is definitely smaller than my big measuring cup, and my big measuring cup is a liter. So I'm going to put an X in less. But I'm still gonna measure it because I wanna know, well, how much is it? So I'm gonna pour my water into my Dixie cup, and I looked how much the water went down. I noticed it was about 100 milliliters. It was at 300, and it went down to almost 200. But here I have this really cool measuring cup that has all different kinds of measurements, but I'm gonna pour my Dixie cup of water into this so that I can see how much water my Dixie cup had in it. And I'm gonna find the milliliter mark and I'm gonna find it and here you can see it's really close to 100. It's above 75, it's almost at 100 milliliters. Okay, it's almost to 100 milliliters. And I know that 100 milliliters is less than a liter because a liter is a thousand milliliters, and this was only a hundred. So this is a tenth of a liter, the Dixie cup. Here's my next object I'm gonna use. I mean, come on, that one is obvious. Did you see how big that was? I'm just gonna call that a plastic container, and that is clearly bigger than a liter. That clearly can hold more than a liter. So I'm gonna put an X, right here in the more column. I know that that plastic container is more than a liter, but how much? I wonder. I'm gonna check the bottom. Check that out. It tells us right there. It says 4.3 big capital L. Capital L means liters. 4.3 liters. So I'm gonna take all of the water. Now it's in different containers, but I'm gonna pour all my water back into this big container to see how much, how much a liter is. So that's all the water from the four cup measuring cup from the one liter. So that much water is a liter. So as you can see, that container is much more than a liter. It's 4.3 liters. So it's more than four liters. One last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just measure this teaspoon because it's interesting to know how, much mil how many milliliters are in a teaspoon. Well, the way I'm gonna find out is I'm gonna pour some water into there. Whoops, spilled a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this little medicine cup. So if you have little medicine cups like this, we often measure medicine in milliliters. So I'm gonna pour it into there. Since it's such a small amount, I'll be able to see one, and it even tells me on here, one teaspoon is the same as five milliliters. So I just wanted to show you that in case you wanted to measure amounts that were very, very small. A medicine cup would be a great way to do that.